Hey guys, and welcome back to another Let's Play Legend of Zelda. In this episode, we are going to clear up some missing items that I realized I'd forgotten. And uh, hopefully continue on our uh, a journey here. Hope everyone's having a good, uh, a good Saturday here. I know I am. <sighs> Unfortunately, because I work uh, earlier hours, I don't really sleep in much anymore. When I was younger, I used to be able to sleep in until... I don't know, practically forever. And now it seems uh, I can't really sleep in ever. <laughs> oh well, it is what it is. <clears throat> gotta try to be careful here. I'm kind of running low on life. I don't really want to die here. That'd be kind of bad. Oh, someone giving me a heart. Oh, I think I went the wrong way. Yes, I did. Let's go down. Sorry, guys. Okay, come up back to the village. And we can get we find some library, there it is. The book that we needed. <clears throat> And this book is impossible to get until you can charge into there. What this book allows you to do is open up the next dungeon. Uh, like, it's like an interpretive book. And it's also pretty useful for another segment in the game. And then down here, we blow open this wall. Is a game we can play for another heart piece. See, these guys won't talk to each other, and then you blow up in the wall, blah blah blah. Is he still angry? Yes, he hates you. The end. <laughs> okay. We gotta go 15 seconds here. We're already off to not a good start. I forget how this goes. I think it's. Uh, oh, we already screwed up. Can we pick this up? No. Can we even do this yet? Hold on, let me think about this. One second here, guys. Yeah, we're not gonna make it. Let me go this way. Like that. Alright, we'll give it a try, but I don't know if we can do this yet without the um, ability to pick up that stone there. We might be able to. The nice part is it's a free game. The only pain in the butt is that... Uh, if you don't get it, you have to jump down and run through these guys' house again. So guys, we'll be coming back again. Alright. Yeah, ready, set, go. Okay, we go here. Come down. Oh, there we go, we did it. Alright, I guess you don't need to be able to pick up the rock. And we get the piece of heart. So we have four pieces so far. And then there's another piece I forgot. That's up here. Oop, wrong way. I love this game. What you need to do is go north here. And this is the Lost Woods. This is the area you go when you go to find your Master Sword. However, there's a... Get away from your bird. A, there it is. A nine patch here. You fall down this well, and you can get another heart piece. Bing! Yeah, yeah, we stole your treasure, deal with it, haha. -ha. And then there's actually a sixth heart piece that I forgot. We're just gonna be coming to the cleaning up episode. Oops.
Hmm. Oh, it's down here. That's right. And those are like rupees and stuff, I believe. And there is a way to get all of them, but unfortunately, if you screw it up, you can't come back. Like, it won't reset them. And there's number six. Let's see here. How does this work again? I think I already screwed up. Oh no. I got it. I mean, it's only 20 rupees each, but still. For a person who's obsessed with achievements and things like that, screwing up that puzzle would be like devastating. <laughs> Unfortunately, until you get the next dungeon's main item, the only way to get back there quicker is, um, I mean, the only way to get there is to go this long way, which is kind of annoying, but, you know, it is what it is. No big deal. Down here. Sometimes you'll see the darker colored uh, stones. What that means is when we get this next dungeon secret item, we'll be able to pick up the big stones. However, the darker colored stones require an even more powerful version of the pickup thing. So until we have that, we can only pick up the lighter colored stones. Let's select the book. He opens it. And he sings. And Maybe he speaks. It looks like he's crossing himself, by the way. Which I have no problem with, but I just find it interesting that he's kind of crossing himself in like a Nintendo game, which, you know, I thought Nintendo was pretty uh, washed when it came to religion and things like that, but nah, whatever. Alright, so welcome to the second dungeon. Probably one of my most unfavorite ones because the floor is constantly being moved and those things shoot you. But we have the ice rod and I like the ice rod because it is good. And it kills those in one hit. Let's just go this way first. I really don't remember this dungeon guys. The easiest way to travel around here is to dash And we found another heart piece. Yay! And an evil vulture. No! <laughs> I don't think there's anything else we can do here. That's the end boss right there. That's how you get to him, I believe. So I just wanted to grab that heart piece real quick. Alright guys, and that's about all the time we're going to have today. So thanks again for watching Let's Play Zelda. And uh, I will talk to you later.